I think that everybody is a product of their environment. I mean, it's impossible to, I mean, you can't not be. You know, if you surround yourself, if you paint your room black and you surround yourself with, you know, goth music, lo and behold, you're, you know, you're going to start being that, that thing. You know, and, that's it's just impossible. And, that's, and that's what I's doing this summer. That's, so. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's on his fourth coat, because it's hard yeah, to paint a wall black. It is, it is, yeah. I'm uh, using good paint, not that chalky stuff. Yeah, so that's why, you know, we have illustrations on, on the wall, like toy planes to serious things to a bookshelf filled with our thing, the, you know, people who create stuff that we love to, you know, friends illustrations because that is all part of what we want our brand to stand for too. So generally anything that we get is something that is like really either meaningful to us or something that is given to us or collaborated with us by like a couple of our friends, artists have painted our port, done our portraits. That's something that we put up there. And then it really actually kind of shaped what we're doing now with the business, which is like a lot of original content, you know, things that aren't just like decorative, you know, trying to actually create everything or install everything that we make for our business. So these boards are like, you know, sort of headquarters of the headquarters. We're kind of always here putting things up and down off these boards. When we start a collection, basically we make an outlined list of, um, all the things that we are into at that period of time. So like, but they could be, they're just stream of conscious, so it could be from, I don't know, Bauhaus to Wayne Teabaud's cake paintings to whatever, like kind of what this office sort of looks like. And then, then what we do is we put them up on the board, these lists of things and images, as you kind of see here, and then we start sort of drawing parallels. So, you know, like, wow, this is sort of this classic, classical versus modernism, you know, like instead of the classic versus modern, like what the real modern period of time was. And I think those like really kind of help define a lot of, a lot of like, you know, this combination of this antique map that I stole from a art building in college or a history building in college to like, you know, like this sort of like strange pop art painting. That just sort of weird grouping, I think, sort of how we think about how we design. We, de we definitely discuss what's going to go up on this wall or get hung in the space and make sure that it's sort of has a feeling of the brand and us in it. Um, it's definitely important. Like that gun my grandfather made by hand and gave it to me a couple, year, like, couple years ago as a present. You know, and then like this fish was crazy story. I walked, I came into my house in California and there was a fish in my kitchen table and literally just appeared. Someone had to crawl through the window, put it in there, and we never... Nothing was taken? Nothing was taken. It was just this tuna. I mean, the tuna is like... It's a baby it's tuna. It's a baby tuna. <laughs> this, this was our birthday. Our, our, we had a karaoke birthday party. So we turned Van, uh, Van Halen into uh, s and &H. My aunt drew this image of the floating image of the cat, which is really weird and awkward, but really cool. To do a retail store would be awesome, and um, New York would be the place we'd want to do that. So that's definitely like um, in the sort of medium term plans um, so it's it's just sort of like one of those things where when people can get it because this is a working office I mean it's, it's not a gallery space this is like there's papers crap every I mean, it's pretty torn up right now but like the store will allow us to tell the story like it's so key for us because like since our inspiration is very varied it's sometimes hard to be like tell to tell someone what it is we're trying to do when they can be surrounded in it, all of a sudden it's just like, oh, the whole thing makes sense now. Like then, oh, okay, I understand why you do it this way, why this looks this way, this way. It's generally what people's opinions of when they come here or talk to us when we're here about the brand.